Hey there, Shubi Doodlers. How are you doing? I was asked if I would draw an origami crane, which I thought was a great idea. So let's not talk about it. Let's do it. As ever, you'll need a pencil and a pen and an eraser. And I'm going to start sort of in the middle here by drawing that's a slight angle there and slight angle in, slight angle in. So it's a kind of trapezoid kind of shape there. And here we want to have, it's going up like that. So it might go up a little bit more like that. Now, if that's the middle, that's sort of going to be coming. That's the middle. And that just wants to lean in a little bit so that we can draw a triangle coming down to there. And from this point, we want to come over to about there and draw a similar kind of thing coming down here to get the idea of this kind of space in the middle here, from which we're going to have the neck coming out at the bottom. So that's going to come up. Oh, we can choose an angle like that. And then it's coming out from round about oh, two thirds up like that, coming out at an angle. And then it wants to go straight across there and then down into a point, which will then come back to just underneath where this bottom line is. And then we're going to want a little kind of, it's, it's slightly angled there, that line. So to get the, the feeling of folds, we're not going to draw, when we come to a sharp point, we're not going to draw all the lines coming together. If that makes sense, it will do when we get to the ink in a moment. So the tail is going to come out from the bottom here as well. And we want a similar kind of angle. And then we're going to come to the wings. And I think this is the difficult bit. So the wings are coming out from these corner points here. And we've got a straight bit and then an angle point. So it's a bit like a trowel. And so we can sort of draw that there like that draw a line kind of down to the middle to get the feeling of where it is you're going that can come out a bit more and then the other one is going to sort of come out from there so that's going to want to come out a little bit up to the top that's going to come out a bit and up to the top like that if you'd like a help sheet for this drawing and know how to paint it in watercolor why don't you come and join me on patreon now the difficulty with drawing origami is, is sort of showing that there are folds. So yeah, pay attention. Okay, we're going to draw this line up here, but not right up to the top. And we're going to draw this line coming down there, but not right down to the bottom either. And not going quite into the corner there, we'll draw that as well. And we can draw the wings coming out like this. Maybe a bit further. And then come just above there, down to there. And here we want to come sort of around the corner. And it's this little bit here. You can maybe even draw a little curve inwards that gives us that feeling of a fold. Now here, we're going to want to do something similar. So that's going to come down, not to the bottom, not to join up with that part there. And then we're going to want the bottom of the bill like that and that's going to go up straight across and then down to there and this part here is a kind of a floating line that gives the feeling of the fold take that up a little bit so then that can come down to there we're maybe going to see a tiny little bit of the other one underneath there we're not going to see any of the <laughs> the back leg as it were and then we can draw that and that there like that and then the rear wing you're going to see hardly any of that little part there and then this is going to come there and finish off there and then we can maybe do some very fine kind of fold lines like that. So when you are absolutely sure that the ink has dried, then you can erase those pencil lines. And to give a feeling of sort of 
depth. I'm just going to make that a little bit thicker there. And then here, just tiny little bits of shade. Here, some tiny little bits of shade too. And we want some more shade in there. And at the top here, you can almost kind of just <laughs> draw a line in there. And then we're probably going to want a bit of shade underneath the wing as well. So we can just do that. And then we can probably put a bit of shade onto the tail as well. And if you want to add a bit of drama, you can add some kind of whoosh lines. <laughs> if you want to know about drawing clouds, go and see my How to Draw Clouds video. Thanks for watching, click down there and make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel and ring that bell for notifications for every time I create a new video, which is quite often. <laughs> and in the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now, bye bye.